What is up everybody, welcome back to the channel, my name is Flame078 and this is Perspective Gaming here with another video. This time around we are talking again about the Battle Armor event. I have been covering this event through its entirety, going through all the armors, talking about the pros, the cons, and seeing what Season 5 has in store because it looks like Respawn is going to be changing the way we play Apex Legends for Season 5. So this is the place where we're going to break that down and see what is the best you know in my opinion moving forward which way should they go and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the purple armor so if you guys have missed my other coverage please please check out the cards check out the description make sure you hit the subscribe button because it's really cool to have this conversation been really having fun dialogue with everyone They're just really breaking this down seeing how this is going to change the game forever but you know without further ado let's get to it So once again, like I like to do as a beginning of the video is just to, you know, summarize what the Battle Armor event is and how I'm interpreting what Respawn is trying to do here right before the launch of Season 5. And what it seems that I think they're getting at is they want to change the way we play the game moving forward, meaning removing some aspects that we've been used to for the last year and some change, right? And by what I mean by that is they're going to remove it seems like the RNG aspect of shields. They're trying to figure out what is the best health pool to work with for Apex Legends for the dynamic gameplay that this Battle Royale provides and see which way it's going forward. We've covered white shields, we covered blue shields, then today we're gonna to be covering purple shields. The one that I've been anticipating the most that I would dislike based on a couple of different factors, but overall, you know, I was very surprised going into this how much I actually enjoyed purple armors as a whole. So let's just start breaking down, you know, the different aspects of it with, you know, the starting of a match. What does the starting of the match look like now when you have purple armors? Well, from my playtime, from what I've gathered, fighting is just as risky as hot dropping in normal Apex Legends, right? So when you hot drop normally, you risk of, you know, fighting people that may get a shield with uh, that you don't, a gun that you don't. Like, it's very RNG and your chance of surviving is completely based on that. And with purple shields, it kind of already brings it to that level, except the RNG aspect just strictly falls on the gun. Yes, you start with a P2020, but honestly, with a P2020, you're not going to be able to do much. You're not going to be able to engage multiple enemies and take them out to move on yes you'll be able to survive you'll have that escape in case things go bad but you won't be able to engage if anything you might be able to take out one person with the ammo you have and the p2020 you start with but that's really about it and then you're going to be left at a pretty disadvantage um, moving forward so that means the other team can really bolt up on you so the starting of the match honestly feels similar to normal apex now so i think you know Good or bad, I'll leave that up to you guys, but that's the way I feel starting a match for hot droppings being aggressive in the beginning. When it comes to drop locations and drop zones, I do feel like like Blue Armor and like pretty much this entire event, I've noticed a lot of people are dropping Skyhook, Capital, you know, Sorting Factory, places that have concentrated areas of good loot where you can just spread around, get loot, and you know, continue moving on your day rather than the small places like Overlook, you know, Refinery um, and stuff like that, at least from what I've noticed. And also with that, people are landing more clumped together, so there are a lot of more early fights going on which means that i think the pacing of the match also changes dramatically with this what do i mean by that well i've noticed a lot of times by the time if you do survive those engagements or you're playing edge by the time you get to the first ring or second ring you really notice that there's like less than 10 teams left but everyone's kind of scattered so you're really really waiting to find someone and it's a little bit frustrating just running around in the map and be like all right where where do i find my next fight so just kind of like i said in my last video i do think if this is the way the trend is going to continue they're going to need to adjust the circle times to uh compensate for the fact that a lot more teams are getting into fights early on um so i think that's something to consider but the match pace overall like that how it feels it with purple armor going in now, how's the fighting aspect of it? Well, I believe, you know, they're good. I was enjoying them a lot more than I thought it was going to. You know, they're long, they're intense. Um, they can get dragged out at times, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if there's lots of people fighting, you can easily armor swap and then pretty much reset you know, your battle pretty frequently. So getting, you know, not getting someone knocked and not finishing them off allows them to escape and allows you to just kind of really drag out fights, which is a problem with 
it comes to third parties because if your fight takes too long more people are going to come in and then it's just going to be a bad time but overall the engagements felt really fun to do just running around just fighting like it felt really nice nothing was bad about that and in terms of like you know i felt like it was good right like i, I thought i was not going to like that aspect but i actually really did one thing that you really can't do though compared to blue armor is you really can't do 1v3s as easily as you could with blue armor and that's simply because of the health pool you're fighting against, right? With everyone with purple armor, you know, it's going to be very difficult for you to really take on a team by yourself if you're put in that position. Unlike with blue armor, it felt like it was still a little bit possible if you hit your shots, you know, it was still good. Um, but purple armor, it seems, you know, only the top tier people can do that which i think is a good thing because it does create this nice skill gap where you can start distinguishing between who's a good player and who's not because good smart players may be able to do those 1v3s or take on multiple enemies because they know how to maneuver they know how to focus fire and stuff like that and i think that's the biggest thing when it comes to engagement it really is about team play focus and fire on one person being together you know having that coordination it really becomes apparent to you know having that more of an emphasis rather than you know just doing what you want to do um, compared to blue armor where i thought like sure that aspect will definitely give you an advantage and push you forward but if you wanted to be a lone ranger i think you had a good opportunity to kind of do that so um it, that's a little little bit of a difference there Overall though, I think all the weapons are still super viable. Everything feels really good. Inventory system once again feels nice. You know, not worrying too much about what is going on in your inventory. Once you figure out the right health pool for you, like how many shields and how many med kits and syringes you need. Once you figure that out for your own personal play style, then everything else becomes super straightforward. Like I mentioned before, like I usually like to run two stacks of bats, one stack of shields, one stack of meds, and one stack of syringes, and I should be good to last a couple of fights um, because I can easily armor swap or you know get more meds down the line, and then I can allocate everything else. So for me, the inventory, the looting system becomes more streamlined, and I can just really focus on what I want to do, picking up the right gun, getting into the right engagements and stuff like that. So I that still feels really really nice um like i said the pacing of the matches i need to be tweaked um if you're really aggressive like you could get into a fight that could last a long time because like i said these fights can last you for a couple of circles but if you're everyone else is spread out you're going to be spending the rest of half of the match trying to find someone else and that's a little bit annoying but considering the times the rings take to close so I do think that tweaking of the circle needs to happen in order for this to feel a little bit more fluid and a little bit more on par with what normal Apex is providing at the moment. You know, that is it for me. I think that's really all I wanted to say. Overall, I enjoyed Purple Armor as much more than I did. Um, and that's, you know, that's saying something I was going into pretty hesitant thinking that Blue Armor was way to go. But this time around, you know, after playing it, after experiencing it, I wouldn't be opposed to Purple Armor. There might be some tweaks here and there, maybe change the way the stacks work again in terms of inventory, but it feels good. I wouldn't mind playing Purples only in Apex Legends, but that is not the end of this event. We have one more shield type to go, the Evil Shields. The Evil Shields, the one where I think the Apex will really shine and really change the game so that's gonna be out today um, so I'm gonna get into that try to review that try to get that video for you guys soon before season 5 so if you guys like this video like the conversation we're having please make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe so that way you guys get that next video and roundup before season 5 is here and thank you guys again for tuning in appreciate it leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys are thinking so far and what are your expectations and what are you guys excited for for season 5 this is Perspective Gaming. My name is Flame0078, and until next time, adios.